Good morning, everyone. Today, I am going to take my semen analysis. So if you guys are not aware, you haven't watched the old videos, make sure you check them out. I am no longer fostering to adopt. At this point, I am doing the IVF surrogacy process. And today, our GoFundMe has reached enough money to cover the blood work and the semen analysis. So today, I will get HIV tests, syphilis, hepatitis, uh, and I think that might be it. And then we have also to get the semen analysis. I will be vlogging it all. That's appropriate, only appropriate stuff, but let me get in the shower, get dressed, head on down. <sighs> this is exciting. Okay, we are on our way. I am not running late. I'll have 10 minutes to spare, but I don't like to get anywhere with just 10 minutes. I like a good 20 to 30 minutes um, because you never know with traffic in Los Angeles. You never know what can happen. But uh, I'm on my way. I. It's kind of weird because like, I don't know what this is gonna be like. Like, are they gonna just like, here's your cup and go into this room. And it's like, you see things online and like on videos and stuff like that. And I'm like, are they gonna have magazines in there? Are those magazines gonna be magazines that interest me? <laughs> or will I have to like use my imagination? <laughs> so I also thought to myself, yesterday I put this Instagram post up and it was literally like semen analysis. If you guys check out my Instagram, you'll see it. Um, and I just thought to myself, I even said to Alex, I was like, man, I put a lot of stuff on social media, a lot of vulnerable things on social media. It's kind of, kind of crazy. <laughs> like these are things that I don't think people would do, but I do it for some reason. All of this stuff is happening. Guys, if you can, please donate to the GoFundMe because that is, the next stage is about $17,000 that I have to pay. Um, and that's a big chunk of money, I know that, but I really have faith that we can um, we can raise this money. I have a showing today at one o'clock, so I'm going to do this semen analysis. I'll have a couple hours after that. Um, to, then I have to go down to Marina Del Rey. I have a showing, um, and that's the thing. Like, Even if anyone has friends or family that live in Los Angeles and you, uh, know someone who wants to move or is moving or wants to sell their house even if you're looking for a rental please reach out to me and just know like all of these efforts like that's a way that you can help too because if I get a client that's you know part of that money goes into savings and goes toward this for me um, so that's a way you can help as well if you have anything a dollar five dollars a hundred dollars whatever a thousand dollars and you want to donate if you've been following this journey and you want to donate please do that. The link is in the description below. Um, but all in all, I really truly thank you guys for watching and enjoying this. Um, I can't believe I'm showing all this online. <laughs> but here we go. All right, so we are here. It's exciting. IVF clinic. I'm about to go inside. I have to be quiet, I guess. It was so funny when she walked me in here. She said, do you know what you're doing? And I, she said, and she goes, did you, um, have you ever done this before? I said, nope. And I was like, well, I mean, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> it was so funny. Cause uh, it's not like I don't know how to like, you know all the good stuff, so here we go. So I've got this little sample cup here. That's where the goods go. And I've got to fill out this document. And there is a TV here with, with videos <laughs> and headphones and somewhere that I can wash my hands and a little like, <laughs> so weird, but I guess it's time to do the deed. <laughs> this is so interesting. You guys. Not 
watch me do this. So I'll see you all when I'm done. <laughs> ah, that was refreshing. This little blue cup <laughs> holds all the goods. You guys cannot see it. <laughs> oh, so now I'm done here. I'm gonna put this right here, down here for them. And I exit. And I washed my hands. I threw that thing away for them. And um, yeah, I feel good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are finished. So now we just wait the test results. Of course I got a little pin because I wanna always remember these moments. Um, wait the test results and see how it goes. Now I'm going to my car. I hope, I really do hope that <laughs> I gave enough, wait, parking P2. I do, I do hope that I gave enough uh, sample because I feel like it wasn't that much <laughs> but I can only do what I can do right so it'll, it'll all work out great I know it'll work out great all right, let's find my car uh, car <clears throat> where's the car well all I've got to say is I talked to the clinic and let's just say I've got some good little swimmers down below. So I can't, I don't remember all the numbers. She's sending me the document now, but she said there was like, um, whatever was supposed to be at 40% is at 87%, which she said is phenomenal for myself. Um, and then there's like a morphality thing. I don't know, I'll, maybe I'll throw them up on the screen so we have all the correct terminology and stuff but there's another percentage that's supposed to be 4% or higher and mine's at 8%. And it just, she said like, you're gonna have no issues at all. I'm really excited because here's the thing, if we're gonna go this route and do IVF, we wanna make sure that my sperm is good and everything is ready to rock and roll so that we can do this in a one IVF treatment. <laughs> and big old motorcycle going down the street. I'm in downtown LA right outside of my brokerage office here, Loftway. I'm gonna do some work, get some work done. But I'm really excited for this. So now I gotta take this report. I have to send it to the agency in Mexico. Once they get all this, obviously all the blood work, the, um, what do they call it? The STD panel, hepatitis, everything came back negative. We are good to go. I make sure I'm always protected uh, and then we're just, I send this over to them. They take a look at it. Once they approve it, I am ready for the next stage. That's stage one, which is where we drop that $17,300 and we can start picking the egg donor, get the surrogate. Then I go down to Mexico. I give the sperm sample to them. Oh my God, this is so excited, but exciting. However, this is a huge payment. So if you have not donated to the GoFundMe, please click the link below in the description. Donate to the GoFundMe. We've had people donate everything from $5 to $25 to $100. Anything helps, please support at the GoFundMe. If you have friends that are, you know, passionate about helping uh, LGBTQ people with IVF and surrogacy, maybe send the GoFundMe to them, maybe post it on your social media pages, anything to help get this out there. Again, I'm here at work trying to close some deals to get the funds for this. So I'm working hard. Anything you guys can do to help would be in the world. Thank you so much for watching and following this journey. We have gone from foster to adopt all the way now to surrogacy and it is so trippy to think about. <sighs> all right, thanks guys, love you all. Peace out. <laughs>